Alright there, ladies and gentlemen, it is a Sunday evening where I am, and therefore, logically, it is time for some more Doom Wads. And in particular, one monster. So, let's get straight into level 11. And I must warn you, like with the previous level with involved pinkies, the music here will be quite loud. So here we are. Level 11. Mausoleum. We are fighting spectres today in a very mausoleum looking place. This is going to be interesting. And, like with the last pinky level, we're going to be doing this to the theme of zombie, zombie, like last time as well, so... Hmm. Oh no, I hope I'm not missed out a secret. Oh no, looks like we can get back up there if we need to. I hope. Anyway, 224 spectres lie in our path. Right at the beginning, they're not going to be growling at us, so let's use this to our advantage as much as possible. We've got a bit of open ground this time, unlike the beginning of Infested, where it was kind of claustrophobic. We should always be on our guard regardless. So, spectres. Basically, spectres are just pinkies, but invisible. They're absolutely no different otherwise. They have they don't have any extra attack or defense, or they don't do different attacks. They're just pinkies, who are invisible. Not the most threatening in this open environment, granted, where you can see them from a mile away, but... Nevertheless, they are a cool concept. They're mostly meant to be used in dark areas, mind you, where... Well, you know, they're in, the darkness suits these guys. Being out in the open like this does not. Oh, did we go through here or anything? Strange looking sign or whatever that is. Oh boy. It's time we switched over to the shotgun for a little bit here. Why a few of us? Chainsaw are not going to be quite as quickly effective as with white. These guys. We don't really want to get cornered either. Mm. So these aren't actually the, the spectres originally looked like in Doom, by the way. This is basically a Jay-Z Doom style. Wow. This is basically a sort of Jay-Z... GZ Doom sort of modification. The original Spectres were basically either, were sort of a grey... I mean, you could, if you look at them real close, you could basically tell if these are just transparent um, pinkies, but they don't originally look like that. In the original uh, Doom, they're basically these grey sort of, almost like television for Spectres swap outs of the pinkies, basically. That was a very hard encounter, since they have a lot of space. <clears throat> but basically, there's, there's sort of like, um... I wonder if this takes us back up. Yeah, what's so good? Supplies. We badly need probably for later. So basically, there's sort of like this grey sort of blob sort of thing. Ooh, nice little grapes. Grey, that's a nice little touch. Good pack. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that, I think. It might be useful. The pack on the level. Later, R.I.D. So they, they were kind of this grey sort of blobbed out kind of thing. We need to take the armor too. But um, they were also kind of weird. I mean, they're only supposed to be this grey sort of PD fuzz style thing. But and some PCs and stuff, they sort of reflected off the background of the level as well. So, you could kind of have this weird effect where it kind of looked like really old DGA graphics and stuff when you bought the Spectres. Which was kind of cool, actually. I'm not going to lie. Wow, this is a really nice decorated tier, I must say. Very nice looking. Holy shit. Look how open this space is, man. So, in theory, this level shouldn't be a problem since it's only Spectres, right? Keyword is in theory. So we got ourselves a bit of a river. Ooh, wow. Some nice visual trickery there to hide the uh, that. Hmm. No sign of any spectres around here in this massive open space. I have to say, the visual details on this level are stunning. But without purpose at this moment. I'm sure that will change. Ah, here we go. Here's our horde of pesky spectres waiting to be let loose. 
try not to let them lose at the moment. So I guess we have to find a way to open that gate. Hmm, not here, obviously. So we'll have to see if we can find a way to free these spectres. Ooh, why like the statues there? Reminds me a bit of Hexen and Heretic. Maybe they used a mortal model, who knows. Draken wasn't too impressed with this music choice, incidentally. Okay, that's definitely straight out of Hexen. That's a Hexen sprite if I ever saw one. Or oh, a texture, I should say, not a sprite. Draken has that's on the first level of Hexen, that. So we're sort of going all Hexen heretic on this level, I see. Fair enough. Those are two games I really need to play at some point. And I'm working my way through in my own sweet time. I'm sort of on episode 4 of Heretic, and I've not really got far in Hexen. I'll definitely be covering them at some point, whether on here or on the live streams or whatever. Oh boy. Looks like we're not getting out too comfortably. Now, the main advantage of the Berserk Fist is that it's quicker and it doesn't stick in the model so much, which is a very nice sort of benefit compared to the chainsaw, but the downside is that its damage is a little bit random. It can sort of kill a spectre in one hit sometimes, but sometimes it will take a couple of punches. But I prefer it over the chainsaw simply because of the mobility aspect. God, I think I'm supposed to press that switch. Hmm. It's looking a bit grim, but not we should be able to persevere with a bit of luck. Do a bit of micro kiting as much as we can. Last there. That was nearly, that reminded me of the situation in Infested, but uh, not nearly as painful, to be honest. So, as I said, Spectres can be, and Pinkies are very useful at doing that, in that they're not too threatening until they have you at close quarters and then they just surround you and nibble you. But, frankly, not nearly as many that time as it was, or could have been. Not quite lightly there, I'd say. We'll go see what's through the red door. There's an Elscapey red crack floor here. Very nice. I hope this visual splendor keeps up and some challenges thrown in occasionally. Mm, it's getting dark. This is kind of where the spectres will have a bit of an advantage. They're a bit less visible. Obviously the level designer knew that. <laughs> spectres are mainly designed to be basically pinkies but ambushier. I'm going to be smart here and trigger out these uh, spectres before I even cross over here. Always a good idea with uh, spectres or pinkies in general. Or sometimes just enemies in general if you've got a space to back into a room. Use it. It'll make life much easier for you in the long run. Looks like we're crossing over Hell's Domain. Ow. 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 That damage. Ouch. Very painful lava. Okay, here. I don't know if you can actually see the spectres or not. They are kind of just about vaguely visible, I'd say. Oh no. More have been unleashed. Just punching blindly there, admittingly, but. I got a shortcut back. Oh! Oh boy. Oh, we're not in the same one as I thought we'd be. I thought we'd be teleported to the one with four of spectres. Nope, it looks like we've unleashed something nevertheless. I think the first time a Spectre was used in Doom actually was um, E1M5, I think. And it was basically introduced by being highly visible before the player saw the it in the darkness. You all know which room I mean if you play the Ultimate Doom. The E1, I think it's E1M5, I'll have to double check that. But basically, you know the, the infamous Spectre room flashing and then there's a whole bunch of spectres in there. There's a great reveal of the monsters and also because of the fact that the player was introduced to the spectre before the invisible room with the where they were at the most dangerous it meant that the the it knew that you know not to just introduce an enemy and then just have the player going why am I taking damage in this dark room they wanted the player to sort of figure out, well, there's a reason, invisible spectres. So it was kind of cool of them to do that, a good way of teaching the player, hey, we have invisible pinkies, you might want to deal with them. 
can only imagine this orange gate is probably going to allow us to deal with these guys. Church here. The atmospheric field continues. I might use a shotgun actually, since this level seems to be not shy of giving us ammo, and the super shotgun is by far the fastest way of dealing with a stinky. Which is why the super shotgun was kind of a useful weapon of Doom 2. It made dealing with Pinky really easy. You no longer had this obscurity of whether your shotgun would take them out in two or three shots, which made them kind of annoying in Ultimate Doom, honestly. But here it's like Super Shotgun, blam, no problems. Like, oh my goodness. They're coming in all over the place. I don't want to get telefragged. Don't have any problems here, though. We've only got about half the level left, but. You know, for all the impressiveness of this level theme, it feels a bit underwhelming that the enemy is kind of easy to deal with at this point. But whatever. As has been stated in the past, one monster dot what is clearly not designed to be all that challenging per se. It's probably more about a concept for the execution, you know. Can you make 25 levels with one enemy type interesting for the player? And the answer is you kind of can. Just don't expect it to be difficult, per se. At least not from these guys. A couple more that blast through. Ah! Oh, 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 oh! Speaking of, speaking of making it difficult for myself, I'm Bunda out there starting to think, hang on, are these the ones that come out from the gates? And I realise it kind of is, but then the others have opened as well. So, much of these unfortunate... Spectres, we don't have a chance, really. Too much ammo for the player to use. Kill them off just for the sake of my kill count if no other reason whatsoever. To be honest, the salvation is probably just a few. Well, then I need to find the secret if I can. Hmm. Still got a few left to go, actually. There's still about 70 to go, or 60, 70 left, so we're not quite out the wood yet. Hmm. Let's check these aisles carefully this giant church. I also do kind of like the fact that the same music was used for this level as the Pingu. That was just a nice sort of theme to the proceeding, which is kind of cool. It's just a shame it's the really, really loud version of it. It's kind of annoying. I hope it's not annoying anyone who's watching this. I know it did last time, I think. Anywho, now we will go get that blue door open, and it's like a long, thin corridor to wrap up proceedings. Not too hard. Yu Yu Boy 85 certainly has enjoyed the one monster dot wad run so far, saying that he likes said it was interesting at the moment. Which is good, I'm glad some people are appreciating it. I'd like to know what Baron of Hell, who I'm doing this for in the first place, thinks though. Not any comments from him yet. Then again, he has a tendency to get very busy and, you know, like me at times. Don't always check your YouTube account. Oh, no, boy, man. I'd just like to know what he thinks of my playthrough so far, you know. Considering he is the requester. He'll probably, I bet he'll comment, though, once I get to a certain level. I think there's two in mind that he sort of warned me about as such when this first started and 13 minutes left. Sorry if I'm not using a variety of weapons here. It's just that the super shock is just so damn effective. There's no real reason to use anything else. Maybe next time we'll be fighting something that requires a bit more just than the Super Shotgun Blast, eh? Almost done now. Ah, getting close to Christmas time. What are you all getting for Christmas, I wonder, or have bought for others on Christmas? I must ask. I managed to get all my Christmas shopping done yesterday, thankfully. So, no more work for me. But I wonder what you're all expecting to get, or want to get this year for Christmas. I have been dabbling with the idea of possibly getting a PS4, perhaps? Just a slight suggestion of getting a PS4, but um, 
I don't know. I mean, I'd like to perhaps try out one of these so-called next-gen consoles, but... I've not been that impressed with the lineups of either the Xbox One or indeed the uh, PS4, to be honest. But I think the PS4 seems... just seems more for me, I guess. Don't know why, just... I just always had PS PlayStations in the past, I guess. What with the PS2, PS3, which I barely use. Maybe the main reason I'm not thinking of getting one seriously is because I'm playing more PC games these days. Anyway. Ooh, got an inverted... Well, not inverted cross, I guess. And I guess that's that. Uh, bar finding the one secret. Yeah, I saw it. Let's go. I think I know where it was. It was at the very start, I think, on that ledge, but ah well. It's not like I really need any power-ups right now. So that was the visually impressive but not exactly challenging Mausoleum by Demon. De Damon, sorry. All the kills, 95% items and no secrets. Done in 15 minutes. I probably would have taken another minute and a half, but I went to go back and check the shot for ammo. A nice level, but uh, it just felt a bit lacking in challenge, but I can't really complain about the visual design, it was excellent. It would definitely suit a regular ward. That, with more enemy types. Anyway, let's see what's up for next time. Oh no, Baron Citadel by Sausage. I wonder which... Oh, guess text first. As usual, it's the default Doom 2 text, as I said last time in one of these screens. Doesn't really change, but I'll just let you read it anyway. You have won. Your victory has enabled humankind to evacuate Earth and escape the nightmare. Now you are the only human left on the face of the planet. Cannibal mutations, carnivorous aliens, and evil spirits are your only neighbors. You sit back and wait for death, content that you have saved your species. But then Earth Control beams down a message from space. Sensors have located the source of the alien invasion. If you go there, you may be able to block their entry. The alien base is in the south of your own home city, not far from the starport. Slowly and painfully, you get up and return to the fray. That story would be nice if I was playing Doom 2, but I'm not. I'm playing one monster. So here we are, Baron Citadel. So, what did you all think of Mausoleum then? Did you like the use of the spectres? Or did you think there should have been more dark areas where the spectres could have caused more havoc? Did you like the zombie mid? Ooh, this music's pretty funky. I'd like to know the source of this music. And what do you think will happen next time at the Baron Citadel? Are we going to be fighting the Barons of Hell or the half health offspring, the Hell Knights? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll catch you all next time for part 12 of One Monster. Farewell, Doomers. <laughs>